All right, guys, so let's read our kissing hand and see if some of our predictions and things that we thought came true. So The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Look at his little tear. Where do you think we are? What's our setting? Were we right? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we, ha we all have to do things we do not want to, to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once it starts. So he's getting sad. He doesn't want to go to school. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. That may be a little confusing when they say nights at school and days at home. Because remember, raccoons, they're awake during the day and they're asleep at night. So she's going to give them away. I wonder what that way is. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother, and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand? asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up to his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Little kissing hand. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful and not to lose it, she teased him, but don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. So he's worried that when he washes his hands after he eats, it won't stick. But she said it will. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. So they were holding hands, has his kissing hand when he's playing ball. It's always there.
That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful, suddenly turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Oh, I wonder what he's going to do. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Why is mom worried? You're right. Moms get worried. Moms and dads get worried when they send their kids to school because they're not with them. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as Hoot the Owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. So look, Mama was getting worried because she was watching her baby go. But she put her hand on her cheek and she knew that Chester loved her. So look, they're all ready for school. And the owl is the teacher. Okay, so let's look. Oh, I love you. So sweet. So let's look back. Okay, we wrote our setting. We wrote what you think will happen and what do you think the problem is and what questions do you have about the book. Okay, tomorrow during our morning Zoom, because you'll have taken a picture and you'll have submitted this picture, the one that's completed, that we completed during our Zoom. We'll take a picture and tomorrow morning, I'm gonna ask some of you guys some of these questions about what you thought after listening to the story.